Today we're going to be showing you guys and reviewing Nectar, which is a new hard seltzer that is out on the market. Oh, it's really heavy. So we got gifted this from Nectar, so thank you Nectar for gifting this to us. We have four flavors today. We have Asian pear, mandarin, lychee, and yuzu. Wow, lychee and yuzu remind me of when we did our first hard seltzer yeah. video. That video was fun. But I wanted something that we can munch on while we tried this drink out. So I'm going to be making the famous Hailey Bieber pizza toast. Sorry, Essie's walking around so you'll hear some pitter patter. This went viral on TikTok. I haven't made it yet, but I mean, how can this not be good? It's burrata and tomatoes and truffle oil. Like, how can it not be good? So let's go right ahead and check out these ingredients. Preheat the oven at 375 degree Fahrenheit. We're gonna start off by slicing up our tomatoes. On a plate, I'm gonna lay it down. I'll add this too. And we're gonna squeeze some lemon over it. and a little bit of salt and pepper. Let's set this aside and work on our bread. We're gonna need sourdough, which is probably my most favorite bread. So we got that prepared. Butter up our bread. All right, now we're gonna add truffle oil to this. And as for truffle oil, I don't have this on hand, but I went to World Market and picked one up. I made oil pasta with this, it was so good. Also, we just dipped some bread in it and it was fantastic. It was so rich in truffle that I really recommend this brand. Yeah, it was pretty strong. Yeah, it was really good. Now we're going to toast this up. Let's add some butter to our pan. Wow, look at that brown. Okay, now we're gonna put this on a pan and we'll do our second one as well. Now we'll, we'll tear this. In. Whoa. Okay. Okay, we'll add this just on here. This one needs a little more. Add our tomatoes on. Wow, this looks so good. Okay, we're gonna add more truffle oil to this. Now we'll go stick this in the oven for about 10 minutes. While we wait, let's talk a little bit about nectar. These are all natural flavors of these four flavors and they're blended with a proprietary hard seltzer recipe that results in zero gross aftertaste and all the enjoyment of drinking a low calorie, zero sugar alcoholic drink.
Now we just have to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese, oregano and red pepper flakes. And serve it alongside of warm marinara sauce. So now we are gonna do a taste test. I'm gonna be trying this Asian pear flavor because I think this would be probably my favorite out of all of the flavors. So we're gonna open this up. I'm using this because if you know, you know, I hate opening cans. Smell it. Wow, it smells so good. Can I, smell I can actually smell the alcohol. Um, so you guys, this is only 4.7% alcohol content amazing right Wait, what the heck? and it's very low cal it's 90 calories they claim that it's supposed to taste really good very low cal 90 calories is very low for an alcoholic drink so i'm really excited let's add this in oh i really wish i could try it it's so jealous i think it's gonna be all foam right now yeah but i'm gonna try no i'm gonna wait <laughs> now i'm gonna try It's shone. Wow, it's so good. I mean, it does taste like zero sugar, but I like that it's not sweet. I mean, it is sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It's actually really good. I actually think, honestly, I like this. the best. Well, I, I really like makul, but makul is makoli. Yeah. So it's not really a seltzer. It's more makoli. Yeah. But I think I would say makul is my favorite, but makul also gets me pretty drunk. This is like a really good summer picnic kind of oh, drink. Like yeah. refreshing. Very refreshing. Because macaroon has a little more calories. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more dense. And you, it doesn't pair well with everything. But I feel like this is really nice because it's light and refreshing. Mm -hmm. You could really, like you said, you can really drink it with like anything. Yeah. I mean, the smell is ridiculous. It's so good, right? It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's it like really good. exactly like Asian pear. And oh, that's the oh. problem is that a lot of times, like, they that don't is. really, like, taste, like, what they should. Yeah. I think I, it's just safe, um, one of each flavor for me. It's gonna take too long, Grace. That's okay. It's not gonna expire. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, let's, um, try this anju. This is our anju today. Yeah. It's the only thing I can have today. How wow. is it? I love it. I mean, the butter makes it so rich in flavor. The burrata is so good. Like, it's super cheesy. Mm. The tomato, there's like a burst of like juice. Very good. Mmm. <sighs> wow, this is so good. It's so good. Good job, Haley Bieber. The packaging is really interesting, right? I love it. I wonder what this is supposed to be. Cupid. Cupid reaching for an apple? Oh, they're all reaching for apples. I actually really like the shape of this. It's like very similar to Lunar, mm -hmm. and I kind of like that it's like tall and skinny. I don't know, I really like... Isn't Topo Chico like this too? I think most hard seltzers are. This is actually really good, whereas if it was at a grocery store and I just wanted something very light and something to really quench my thirst but give me a little bit of a oomph with the alcohol, this is literally the go-to drink. It's really good. I'm actually utterly surprised at how good this is. If you guys can get your hands on this, I feel like this will be the next up and coming Asian seltzer drink. So I want you guys to try this. I really like this flavors. Check out their websites and hopefully they'll start importing these into a lot of commonly found grocery stores around you. So you guys can pick one up and try it and we'll see you guys on our next video.